if you go back, Hamas was created in the 1980s, and it's all about creating an Islamist state in all of historic Palestine. Because of that, Hamas hates Israel the most, but they also don't have much love for the Palestinian Authority, which is secular. And not only is it secular as opposed to Islamist, but it uh, believes in a two-state solution, and Hamas does not. I think this is one thing that many viewers may not understand. Hamas is not fighting for there to be a Palestinian state alongside an Israeli state. Hamas is fighting to destroy Israel and to have one Palestinian state that is not secular, but is Islamist in all of historic Palestine, in all of Israel, in all of the West Bank, and all of the Gaza Strip. So it's against peace in general, uh, and that makes it very, very different. Hamas has never carried out an attack like this before. It's been known for suicide bombings, targeting buses and cafes. Later, when it conquered the Gaza Strip by force of arms and turned its guns on fellow Palestinians in 2007, after that, because it had territory, it built up a rocket arsenal and would fire rockets at Israeli communities. We've seen that even in this attack. But storming into Israel... Uh, uh, attacking 30, some 30 civilian communities and a, and a music festival, um, killing people on the streets, um, abducting hostages and taking them in the dozens back to Gaza Strip, including little children without their parents. Um, this is unheard of. One of the reasons it carried out its attack now is because of the prospect of normalization between Israel and Saudi Arabia. And over the past few weeks, even months, Hamas officials have been quite open about the fact that this would be a, a huge event. Um, the deputy head of Hamas, Salah al who's based in Beirut, gave an interview to a pro-Hezbollah, Lebanese Hezbollah as an allied group, also pro-Iran uh, me, uh, media outlet. And they said, look, you know, this could be a game changer. And I think they're worried, we're worried about it because peace with Saudi Arabia, as opposed to, say, the peace that already exists or the normalization that already exists with the UAE, the United Arab Emirates, and with Bahrain, Saudi Arabia is the custodian of the two holiest sites in Islam. And I think Hamas fears that if there were to be normalization with Saudi Arabia, other Muslim nations, other Arab nations would follow suit. Uh, and I think Hamas felt that if it does come to a ground war, which I think is painfully likely because the Israelis are going to, going to feel that they ha have to somehow secure the release of these dozens of civilian hostages, which include, by the way, um, people killed and hostages from at least 14 foreign countries. This is a textbook international terrorism, a case of international terrorism, uh, that if they do go into Gaza, that Hezbollah will do more from the north, that it will open up a second front, either from Lebanon and maybe also from Syria. And so this could have kind of horizontal escalation in the near term, which could be very dangerous.